So hi guys, welcome to our channel Codesa. Hope everyone is doing great. So in this tutorial, we are going to display table in Angular using JSON Server REST API. So before starting the tutorial, please do like and subscribe to our channel so that you can't miss the important update. So without wasting more time, let's start the tutorial next. But before starting the tutorial, make sure that you must install the JSON Server. So since JSON Server is provided as an NPM package, so the installation of JSON Server can be done by using the NPM. So here is the command npm install minus g json server here minus g option is used to install the package globally in our system now after installing we have to create a new angular project so let's create a new angular project named json server using command ng new json server now wait for few minutes so that it builds the project successfully Now let me forward the video to save the time. Before starting writing to our project, create a new JSON file db.json which contains the data and can be accessed by REST APIs. The db.json file should be created outside the source folder or along with the package.json file. Since for Angular projects, I am using Visual Code Editor, so let's start the project by typing code dot in command prompt. Now, let's look at the db.json file below. This file has a structure consists of users object which has 10 records assigned. So each user object contains six properties that are ID, first name, last name, email, mobile, and self. After creating the db.json file, now first go to the source folder under which go to the app folder. Now open the app.component.stm file and delete all the components contents from it. Now let's create a header of our app named JSON API table. So let's first create a basic layout for table and define header and rules section for our table. Before working on table, first we need to create a REST service to access the data from db.json file. So, so now create a service named REST service below by typing the command ng generate service rest after creating rest service go to the rest.service.ts file and implement get users method to retrieve all the users from the json file for implementing rest service which require url to access we first have to inject http service in our rest service so for injecting HTTP service inside the REST service, create a private variable as HTTP of HTTP client in constructor of REST service. But before we access HTTP service, we also have to import it in our app.module.ts file. So first go to app.module.ts file and under imports array, add HTTP client module to it. Now, as we know that our db.json file contains users object and each object consists of six properties. So for accessing them by JSON server, we have to provide URL to read that object user. The URL for REST API to access a file is localhost colon 3000 slash users slash. 
as in db.json file, each object has six properties. We can't access the values directly from an object. So for accessing them, we need to create a class named users with these properties defined. Let's create a users class and a constructor to assign values to its properties. Now implement the get users method to retrieve all the users from the JSON file. For that, we are using HTTP get request to HTTP colon localhost colon 3000 slash users to get all the users. Since the get request is going to return users object in form of array, so we declare array of class users to get those objects. As of now, we have done implementing our custom REST service for accessing data from the db.json file. Now we need to inject our custom REST service into our project that is injecting our REST service inside the app.component.ts file. So for injecting REST service, we have to declare a private variable REST service of type REST service inside the constructor of app.component.ts file. Now variable REST service is used to perform each and every method of REST service. Now declare the headers column of the table as an array in app.component.ts file. Our headers columns are user ID, first name, last name, email, mobile, and cell. Now also declare index array of headers column in form of properties are declared or defined in db.json file that is ID, first name, last name, email, mobile, and cell. After that, create an empty variable users holding array of custom class users. Now we need to call our get users method that is defined in our custom REST service so that we can show the data in table form. Since we require the since we require the data at the time the project loads initially. So for that, we need to call get user method inside the ng on init method. That is a built-in method in Angular. Because ng on init method is called immediately as the project loads. So call the get user method using REST service and subscribe the observable or response that we get from JSON server and add all the objects of type users class in users array. Since we have retrieved all the record records from the db.json file and stored them back in users array, now let's move to the file app.component.html file where we have defined basic layout of our, of our table. So for displaying the users array in form of table, we have to use ng4 to iterate to each user object. As I have already uploaded a video on how to create a table using ng4, you can check for more information. So let me skip this part and write directly table code in app.component.html file. Now we are done with creating table in Angular using JSON server API. Let's start the server using ng serve command or with npm start command and see what we have created. And along with this, start our JSON server also in another command prompt by typing the following command json server json dash server dash dash watch db dot json. Here, watch means the server is started in watch mode and which means that it watches or tracks the file changes and updates to the API accordingly. 
Let's wait for the project to compile successfully. Once it's successfully compiled, go to browser and type http colon slash slash localhost colon 4200. As we can see the table is created successfully, but it doesn't seem to be good in visualization. Let's add some CSS to our table so it looks a little better. For that, go to the app.component.css file and style your table. For styling your table, first create an ID property of table as user and add CSS property using this ID. So let me skip this part and directly add CSS to the file. Now we have successfully added CSS and saved all the files. It automatically compiles the projects in the background. So let's check the browser again and now our table seems to be little better. Hope you guys like that tutorial, feel free to drop any comments in the comment section below. Thank you, have a good day.